I'm second generation. Um, my father came in the 70s and all the old communities, all the chairmen, we sat down and we talked about it. Because it's the oldest Chinatown in the Europe, they wanted to have the biggest dragon. So as Golden Dragon, we thought, OK, we'll, um, we'll buy one and we'll donate it. It's an authentic dragon. It got hand carved by um, a family who have been carving dragons for 105 years, 100 years. Uh, and it's come all the way from China. It took four months to do. Arrived Monday, just gone. Uh, and it took them two days to build it. We're gonna awaken it tonight, open its eyes, do a, uh, like a little bit of a ritual, and then it'll, it'll be awake for Chinese New Year. So it'll go around Chinese New Year, blessing everybody, blessing them for good luck, prosperity, health and wealth. So it's a big, big thing in the Chinese community. Our school uh, basically performs the Lion Dance Chinese New Year and um, it's very important to the Chinese to have all the animals taking part in the Chinese New Year, the three mythical animals. Um, we've got the lion which is performed by the Hungar Kung Fu School, the dragon by the Hungar Kung Fu School and some very good friends of ours do the unicorn which is the three animals so they'll all be out this uh, on the 7th performing in the streets. This is the longest dragon the school's ever had. We've had about six. The one we had last year fell to pieces because of the bad weather we had, similar to today. So the one we've got today is brand spanking new. It's never been used, and that's the, that's the whole reason why the eyes have got to be opened. What that means is that when the eyes are open, the dragon is actually a living thing. It becomes alive, so it's going to be a living, breathing dragon after tonight. So it's better look for everybody there. The good thing about Chinese New Year is it's like looking forward to the spring. It's, the actual term is banishing the winter monster. So the idea is that you're getting rid of all the bad things, getting rid of them, and looking forward to the future, and hopefully the future will be good luck for everybody.